So getting back to the conversation here with Brezhnev Otieno, the advocacy manager of Torres East Africa, and of course uh, the National Parents Association uh, chairman, Nicholas Mayo, who's joining us live from Eldred Town. I would want to start with you, that you're closer here. What uh, is your immediate reaction to this new circular that has been released? Two things. One, education is never free. I think the taxpayers are catering for education, so you should disabuse this notion that it is free. Mm -hmm. It's being paid by the taxpayer. Secondly, I think it is a good idea, possibly in the right direction, but the execution maybe is not very well done. Mm -hmm. why, why do you say the execution is One, not well done? I'm looking at the parents paying part of the fees. You remember when, during the campaigns, one of the key issues that was raised by the people who are campaigning is that parents will not be paying mm -hmm. anything. They'll go to school, take their children to school, and then, of course, they learn in school. But what we have currently, parents are still should, 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 shouldering the burden of paying for the fees. When you look at what made the 844, I mean, the standard, when you had... Free primary education in 2002, when mm -hmm. Kibaki came into power, it was assumed that everything was, would be free for the parents. But two things happened. One is that we found that parents were paying those indirect costs, which includes maybe uniform, mm -hmm. paying for the costs related to the employment of the workers in the school, and even paying for the improvement of the infrastructure. This current system does not have provision for government to improve infrastructure mm -hmm. in schools that don't have infrastructure. Okay, let's hear from the parents, from the Parents Association uh, chairman there, joining us live from Eldoret, uh, that is uh, Nicholas Mayo. Um, uh, Brezhnev here says that he's sympathizing with the parents because he believes nothing is free, but um, what is the reaction from the Parents Association from this new circular um, released by the Ministry of Education? Um, as parents of this country, we are very much happy mm -hmm. for the new release of uh, 2018 fees capitation from the government. Us, as uh, Parents Association, mm -hmm. we are very much happy because as parents, we know uh, in the Basic Education Act, we have our roles to play. And actually, education in Kenya, as a parent, is not actually free because as a parent you're supposed to pay um, lunch for your child and also a uh, uniform. So we're happy because the government has given some more money um, for especially uh, day school. And from next year we are very much aware that uh, um, Secondary, secondary section in the day school will be absolutely free, notwithstanding the, 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 the support that we have to, to have as a role as parents. Mm -hmm. Free education actually is a component of education, the learning materials, mm -hmm. not food and uniform. So we understand as parents that we have our role. Mm -hmm. The government is giving us money for the education because they are calling it free education. Mm -hmm. they, are not, they are not saying free lunch, free uniform. Mm -hmm. It is free education. Mm -hmm. And free education, as a parent, we understand that it is the components of education, the learning materials, and uh, what has to take in the learning. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Version of the chairman of the um, uh, Parents Association holding a very divergent view from yours. I think it's a tender to those fees, but one thing I want to concentrate on. Mm -hmm. We have parents who cannot pay the boarding fees. Mm -hmm. That is granted. Mm -hmm. So what will happen to these parents? And then look, looking at the infrastructure in the schools, you have some schools which are far, far much behind. Look at the places in North Eastern. Yeah. Even in places, maybe, maybe in North Eastern, the infrastructure cannot accommodate the number of people you expect to come to these schools. What will happen? I think for me it is a good yes, yes, mm -hmm. but then you need to put provisions for enabling schools which have poor infrastructure mm -hmm. for them to be improved in a way that can accommodate mm -hmm. the many people who will come in. Mm -hmm. So, of course, to start with the infrastructure in schools, um, you would have preferred, as, a, as an advocacy manager of mm -hmm. Toaweza, you would have preferred the government to begin with building schools, ensuring yes. that the infrastructure in the schools is better? Play back in 2002, we had free primary education. So what happens? The parents who are the means? 
took away their children from the deteriorating quality of education in mm -hmm. the public schools and took them to the private schools. This might happen this time around. Mm -hmm. Just wait and see. I'm sure by the time the government start enrolling new students in 2018, mm -hmm. we'll find more and more people who have been denied the opportunity to be mm -hmm. in school coming back in droves. So what will the government do? Mm -hmm. For example, if you are people preferring to be their scholars in Alans High School, mm -hmm. in Stare High School, is there a mechanism to ensure that these people, for example, are distributed in all the schools which will be offering mm -hmm. day school facilities? Mm -hmm. Bonamayo, are these concerns you share about infrastructure in these schools and um, um, the capacity they can hold in terms of uh, students? Um, yeah, we are aware that uh, there will be a lot of um, stampede because you remember when the Kibaki brought in the free education, mm -hmm. there were so many children coming to school. As parents, we are aware and what we want is the government to give us more money for infrastructure so that we can build more classrooms for the children because we know that they'll be in. Actually, we are aware that uh, we still also have about 6 million children who are of school age mm -hmm. and they are still roaming. Maybe others are in, uh, along the coast, mm -hmm. the beaches. Others are in the lake region. And those children, we need them in school. So as an association, we support the free education from the government because it will cater for more children who are actually um, not in school by now. But then we, by, by, by next year, they will be, they'll, they'll come to school because the government has really brought in more support. But then so does concerning it, your yes. free... Um, Yes, I mean, go, go on, go on. Come again? Go on. Uh, uh, concerning the, 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 the infrastructure, yeah. um, the, the CS actually uh, brought in some uh, more money for expansion of schools. Mm -hmm. And going forward, we are expecting um, some two streams in, second, in boarding schools like uh, national schools and extra county schools to be opened up mm -hmm. for other day school children. A school like Nairobi School mm -hmm. or Moy Girls in Eldoret can offer a day school mm -hmm. or maybe two streams. All right. And that one will be an advantage to us parents. Okay. All right, I want yes. us to take a quick break. Uh, Nicholas Mayo there joining us live from Eldred. He is uh, the uh, chairman of the National Parents Association in studio. I'm with Brezhnev Otieno, he's the advocacy manager at Tuaweza East Africa. Coming back, we